Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR, and yes folks, we are back once again, and today we are back with part 3 of the Alien Invasion. Now you're probably saying to yourself, Komodo, I thought we were stopping at part 2. Well you guys had a really good idea about the last part, plus there's been something that's been added to the workshop that we need to go over. So, if you missed the last episode, we did a Super Tornado very cool scene uh, if you want to see that it's gonna be up in the top right corner but let me explain what's going on here so we've had the UFO or the mothership over there the black hole we've got some aliens but on the workshop some people or I should say somebody uh, somebody named flawless doggo I believe I got that right uh, he has actually made some really really cool stuff on the workshop and I'm pretty sure he watches my videos because Right after I mentioned the whole fact of, man, it'd be cool to see some actual UFOs, check this out. We have UFOs here in Tiny Town in the workshop. Hold on, get up there. Check that out. That looks so much better than my mothership. We got that. We've actually got these here. These actually look pretty legit. Those are slightly creepy. I like that. So, Flawless Doggo on the workshop. Uh, he's the reason that we're also doing a part three of this because I can finally put some crafts in the air. We'll have some battles. And also, we're going to be doing this because of the top comment from the last episode when we flashed it up on the screen. You guys wanted to see an alien safe zone where aliens are infiltrating it. So we're going to be doing that here today. Now, if you guys have any suggestions and you want that top comment, comment below with new disaster ideas. Uh, we'll kind of filter through and we'll pick one out. Uh, for the next episode of Tiny Town. And if you're enjoying this series on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's get building on a safe zone. All right, so what we're going to be building here today is our alien safe zone. Now, I've got some really cool ideas for this. I'm actually going to build the perimeter. It's right by the Formula One track, kind of by where the black hole is. So it's still somewhat in the alien area. But what's going to be going on here, and this is for people trying to escape... Uh, the whole alien apocalypse here and uh they're getting in but what's going on is the aliens are actually infiltrating they're using mind control and probably several other devices in order to infiltrate the safe zone and cause all sorts of chaos so i'm gonna build a barrier here depending on how big this is gonna be this is actually gonna be more uh probably a smaller scene but it's going to be more detailed than a lot of my normal scenes. So let me build the barrier real quick and then we'll start to set up the, uh, the stuff here. Alright, so I finished the perimeter here. So what you're seeing is a traffic jam outside. Kind of like uh, the traffic jam over by the, uh, by the docks over here where people are trying to escape Tiny Town. Well, they're trying to get into this safe zone and the military is actually filtering them down. And they're going to allow them to come through the gate. They're going to get scanned, maybe sent to medical, or maybe the other tent here. Not really sure what that would be. And this is kind of where the aliens are going to come in and infiltrate. Okay, so what I want to work on now, I'm going to actually start to add people that are entering into the little checkpoint here. Uh, you can see I've set up some defenses and stuff. Now, this isn't going to be the only part of the episode. Uh, the later part, we're actually going to start using those UFOs. And I'm going to try to create what appears to be like a plane battle overhead with all the little UFO fighters. So... What we're going to do, we need to get a bunch of town people, I'm going to get a bunch of luggage, make it look like everybody's just trying to pick up and move into the safe zone. And what I really think I'm going to do, I think it's going to be like a big tent area, maybe some campers and stuff like that where they're trying to let people uh, live and I guess maybe try to resume a normal life. I know it's a little hard to do whenever uh, the zombie apocalypse happens, or I should say alien apocalypse, actually everything's happening, it's just the apocalypse. That's really what we should call it. All right, so I've set up my first scene. I've actually split the safe zone. So left side's gonna be where the military is, right side is gonna be where the campers are, or the people have the temporary housing. But you can see that I've added a whole lot more detail here about it, people. Uh, so what's going on here? You come in, you get approved to come in through the gate, you come into the first checkpoint, and they check you over papers-wise, make sure you have the right documentations here. Uh, probably gonna be some sort of medical scan that's happening, which I think is gonna happen in the tents over here. So they'll lead them in, you'll get scanned, you'll come out this side, and then you'll be allowed to proceed over to the gate and get into the campsite. That's what this guy's doing here. You can see he's got his papers. So. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys guess. Can you guess which person 
in this whole group back here might be infected. Go ahead and guess. If you guess Mr. Eyeballs over there, you would be correct. This guy is ready to do some sort of damage. So I think we're going to have some mischief going on over here. But I'm actually really happy with this setup here. So what I need to do, I'm going to add some military supplies, some personnel on that side. But my main focus on this side is going to be kind of like the, uh, the temporary city that they've set up in this little barrier area. And then we will move on to the uh, aerial fight that's going on. I'm excited for this build. This is fun. All right, so I present to you the campsite that I have built here. Now, this thing actually looks pretty cool. It looks like everybody's just trying to settle in, trying to get along here in desperate times. I mean, you look up, there's literally a black hole right there. There's just chaos going on everywhere. So let's go ahead and zoom in, take a look at what we've done here. Of course, you see people, uh, they got their little grills, they're trying to cook. Uh, we do have some military personnel in here, like some guards. Uh, there's a little medic station here. This guy's got a, I guess we can call it a boo-boo on his arm. Uh, you've got people just kind of mingling here. Now, it was kind of first come, first serve. Uh, you got the big tent back here. Probably has the people who got here first. And then all these other smaller tents that are set up. Some kind of like homemade personal tents. Uh, you just got people just kind of mingling about. Now, there is a couple things that are going on here in this little area. And... I think you guys can spot what's happening. People are starting to lose their minds here. They're starting to have thoughts. Uh, those thoughts aren't always so pleasant, as you can tell. And this is how the aliens are starting to win here. Uh, yeah, they're uh, driving everybody insane. Now, that's not the only people that might be infected in this. The military's doing a good job sorting everything out here in the front, but doesn't mean that everybody's immune to it, because you can see here, this lady's egg that RPG looks pretty awesome, and she would like to kind of use it. So, you can see where the infection is slowly spreading. People are losing their minds. This is like an aerial view of it. This actually looks pretty cool. Alright, so on to some of the other stuff that we need to do here today. So, we had some discussions about the aliens that are running around. The ones that kind of look like the, the xenomorphs from the uh, Alien series, but... I've got something else here. I've got an alien, and these actually legit look creepy. Like, if I saw that thing standing in a dark alleyway, I'd probably poo myself. So I'm thinking this is going to be the actual alien, the, the smart ones, or the leaders. Those are just the warriors uh, that they send out to do the destruction and damage. So, what's going to be going on here? I'm trying to think of where to stick this. I might stick it in this little empty area here and kind of build around it. We're going to have a little bit of an abduction site. So you've got the alien. You've got this here. Let's go and make this bigger. This is actually one that's landed. So ideally, and this is probably way too tall. Let's make it shorter. There we go. Get a couple of them here. These are actually going to be leading people into the ship and uh, getting them out here. Now, we've always wondered, is that the same thing they're doing with the black hole? Probably is. But maybe they're being a little more selective down here. So I'm going to kind of build up this area around this because I did notice it's a little empty. That way it looks a little more full. And we'll have that and then we'll get to the sky here. All right. So I think we've got this site pretty much taken care of. You can see I've added a ton of destruction around it. Some new buildings, cars, stuff like that. But you can see that the aliens are actually leading people into the ship. And they're going to abduct them. So I thought this was actually a pretty cool little area here. Plus, it finally gave you guys a little look at the aliens. So, another thing that I was really wanting to do on the Mothership episode was to have some sort of battles going on in the sky with the aliens versus the military. And I think that's really going to just wrap up this area. So, let's go ahead and grab those. Uh, we're going to be using this one here, but I think we're going to... We're probably going to shrink it down a bit. So, these are going to be like the fighter... UFOs. I'm going to go ahead and deploy them all over the area here. That way it really fills out the sky, creates a bunch of extra shadows and stuff. So if you can look up and see these things flying around. These look insane, actually. I really like these. I think I like these a little bit better than the uh, landed one. Even though the landing one doesn't quite look like a fighter. Maybe it's like a transport or something. So yeah, you got these coming out. Now, I really wish I had like a really long like laser beam or something. So I'm trying to figure out what them shooting would actually look like like I always picture like beams and stuff but it could be something else all right so to give you guys a little feel for the scale this is a normal sized jet that is a fighter there so 
You could say the fighters might be a little bit on the OP side, so I'm gonna add some jets. Uh, we're gonna make some missiles fly through the air. And of course, we're not gonna forget our favorite character here. I got an idea for her too. So uh, we'll get her taken care of here shortly. So as you can see here, one of the fighter jets is going down. Now that was our favorite character, Oblivious Grandma, but you know Grandma does not give up that easy. So uh, we're gonna have old Grandma here, we're gonna grab her, and uh, she ejected out of there, but you know what? She's still gonna take down those fighters. So Grandma might have landed herself on top of the UFO. She's got her minigun ready. She's got her gun on her back. She's about to enter that, and I tell you what, I don't think I'd want to be on the inside of that uh, UFO uh, once she gets in there. Man, this looks cool, huh? Let's look at this from the ground. So say if you were in the campsite, what would the battle look like? like man, that is incredible looking. Jets flying around, there's stuff crashing, UFOs all over the sky. This is cool. I'm actually really, really happy with this. I'm still not quite sure about what the UFOs would be shooting. Obviously, I can add some missiles uh, in the air, but I don't have anything good for a beam. Like, that beam there took a while to do, and it just isn't, it doesn't look that great. So maybe we'll get something in the future. That way we can have them shooting. Now, one last thing I do want to do. I want to go ahead and put one in the rubble. I want to show that the aliens, they're not completely invincible. So they can go down. So I think we're going to set one... I need to find an open area. They can right here by the black hole. Maybe, maybe in the street here, so like it crashed down. That that looks pretty good. There we go. So it's kind of crashed down. I'll add some debris around it to kind of build up that area. So folks, I think that is it for this area. I think the alien invasion's pretty much taken care of. I'm not saying it's over because I said that with the zombies, and we kept coming back. Uh, once you guys at home gave me some really good ideas. So, if you guys have any suggestions for Tiny Town, comment below. Let me know what you think about the safe zone and about what the aliens are doing to the people. Uh, maybe even the abduction zone over here. I feel like we got actually quite a bit done here. That looks awesome. This is just so sweet. So, the Tiny Town tour is coming. I still think we're going to do one more build episode next, and then I think I'm going to finally do like a tour episode, and then we'll start building once again. But I really would like to show you guys, especially all the people that are new to this series, truly what has gone into this city, because it is insane. So, comment below with new suggestions. Thank you guys for the love and support, and we will see you guys next time in Tiny Town VR.